loves it. I told him, I said, I hate the Army. I hated the Army, but he loves it. I told him, he says, there's one thing you have to remember. It's not what you know, but who you know. the Fort Douglas to for in a uh, physical. So I went up there and the doc, there were several of us and we're all standing there without any clothes on. And it was a little embarrassing. And when they got to me, the uh, <coughs> doctor says, Goldheart, what do I have in my hand? I said, a pencil. Good, you pass the eye test. Walk that white line. I walk it, he says, great. 1A, bang. A week later, I got a letter saying, greetings, you're now hereby enlisted in the Army of the United States of America. A report such and such a time at Fort Douglas. They asked me where I'd like to go in the Army, and I said, well, I'd like to go to Germany because that's where all my ancestors came from. I end up over in Korea. And when I got there, I end up in an engineer combat battalion. Nothing to do with single corps at all. That's the Army for you. You just Go through a lot of training and all that training goes a lot because they just are different. And these are a group of guys that were friends. And this, this picture was taken in 1952 and the vehicles are a little different now. Korea, 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 here we come. As a, uh, in charge of the motor pool and uh, I had guys come for parts from all over. And I had a little sign in front of my tent. I lived in a tent and it said this, if you want it, we'll get it. If we can't get it, we'll make it. If we can't get or make it, God never intended you to have it in the first place. And I learned a lot. Let me tell you, I learned exceptionally a lot when I was in the Army.